Okay, our next guest is committed to developing leaders of today to shape a better tomorrow. Kathy DeMarcos is a philanthropist, business advisor, mentor, coach, and now author. She joins me live now. Kathy, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. No, it's our pleasure to have you on the program. Can I ask you about your new book, Same People, Different Vision? Tell us about what prompted you to write this. Well, um, it certainly wasn't on the agenda, that's for sure. Coming from a finance background, numbers is my thing. Um, but over the years, I really, I deal with people all the time. And so I think my trajectory changed along the way in respect to how I actually want to be seen in the world and what I want to do and, and how to actually create that positive impact. And so for me, the book actually came about through a challenging time, which was in fact when my father um, was actually quite ill and he was in hospital. And so um, it was during the pandemic and of course that actually then led me to reflect um, and it was in fact an opportunity for me to perhaps put words on paper rather than looking at numbers. Um, and so for me it was how do I actually create that impact and it was to share experiences. I'm a really big believer in um, knowledge is really only of value when shared. So that's what actually started to happen. Um, it took me about a year and in fact I finished writing the last few chapters whilst my mum was in hospital um, earlier this year. So that's what prompted it and then it was how else can I create that impact and that was all the proceeds then actually go towards the projects that we run in Tanzania. So here mm. I am today. <laughs> yes, yes. So who, who's the book actually targeted at, targeted at? Who could benefit from reading it? So it was actually really geared for managers. It was geared for entrepreneurs, um, executives, leaders. But to be honest, the lived experiences and the, um, I guess, the learnings from it are really just for people who want to genuinely want to make a change in the world to create that ripple effect. So it really is open to anybody. Mm, yeah, you mentioned that the proceeds of the book form part of a project that you're involved in. Are you able to share us a few more details about that? Yes, of course. So I have been doing uh, some work in Tanzania for the last seven years and it started off with my daughter at the age of 17 after Ebola broke out to say I want to contribute. So that led us to Tanzania. She started off. We worked in orphanages. We lived with the Maasai. We really actually, I guess, gained a lot from them whilst people thought that we were contributing, we gained a lot. So that over the years has now led to leadership programs. I now have facilitators on the ground who I have been mentoring for seven years. Those leadership programs now are going into schools. So we were asked this year to start the programs from year six. We have developed four programs that start in year six, go through to year 10. Then actually the next program is for alumni. And we also are actually going to be running an incubator program, which has a social enterprise outlook. So for me, it is really about giving everybody the opportunity to actually start to live life from a different baseline, irrespective of where they are in the world. So I want the West to actually go to underdeveloped countries and we will roll this out globally. So Tanzania is a starting point for us. Mm. And just how challenging has it been um, doing this in the middle of a pandemic, obviously unable to travel to Tanzania? It was really... Um, it was really interesting. I mean, we have limitations, of course, because some of the community obviously don't have access to um, the internet. And so whilst originally we wanted to have all of this available online, the practicality behind it wasn't possible. So having the facilitators who live locally um, has certainly enabled us to do that because we can liaise. And because they have actually been mentored um, by me, they understand the philosophies and what it is that we want to actually contribute out to the world. And so changing the way that we're going to deliver it is in fact um, utilizing a combination of um, technology, but really actually going back to uh, pen and paper. And so um, we've got everything that's going to be printed so that they can write. We will supply the actual 
pencils, pens. We were actually even going to um, have buses go around to pick up, you know, a lot of the students who really can't get to where we're going to be facilitating this. We'll be providing food. So it really isn't just about the educational piece. It's also making sure that we have the cultural um, elements that are encompassed in that, which is why local facilitation is really important um, and ensuring that they actually are in the right state of mind by ensuring that they've got the nutrition um, and that they actually have that security of safety in the environment that they're going to be learning in. So the programs actually run from four weeks to six weeks. So it's not just a day thing. They will also then be able to, I guess, experience you know, each of the actual lessons, roll that out into their everyday lives and then come back and then start and build on the next lesson after that. So I'm really Kathy, excited you, about it. Yeah, yeah, abs absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it's been fantastic hearing about it. It's been really great having you on the program. Uh, just quickly, if um, people want to find your book, Same People, Different Vision, where, where can they go? So Amazon, in fact, I have some great news. It actually hit number one on um, hot new releases today, and it just got released. Oh, and we've also hit number one on um, motivational business management. So I'm thrilled, but Amazon, uh, KDM Books, and on my website. So there's a whole lot of different ways you can access it. And of course, everybody who buys the book is obviously contributing to our bigger vision. Absolutely. All right, Kathy, it's been fabulous chatting with you. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Really appreciate it, Jackson.